From underwater cities and bizarre squid, to blobfish and the world's tallest mountain, here are 15 of the oddest things found in the ocean. Number 15. Sunken Train Graveyard In 1985, marine researchers were mapping the Atlantic Ocean floor when they detected some large metallic cases. It took several more dives before the cases were identified as the hulks of two ancient locomotives. They turned out to be rare planet-class models that were manufactured during the mid-1800s. Explorers say they may have been lost in a storm as they were being transported on a bridge from Boston. Laying about 90 feet underwater, that's 27 meters, the steam locomotives have rusted, but are otherwise remarkably preserved about five miles off the New Jersey coast. Even though it's unknown how the trains ended up there, they have become a popular attraction for wreck divers. Number 14. Blue Tides Dinoflagellates are small marine plankton that are bioluminescent. When they get agitated, they produce a ghostly blue light. That makes the water they inhabit come alive with a vivid blue glow that is sometimes called smurf surf. Witnesses have described the site as a surreal spectacle and is especially noticeable at beaches in the Maldives. The phosphorescent phenomenon is also known as the Milky Seas effect because it can sometimes have a milky, pale coloration. Large areas of the ocean can exhibit the blue glow. At night, it can be brilliant enough for satellites to detect from outer space. Number 13. Kelp Forests Although it may appear so, kelp is not a plant. It's a large algae seaweed that covers about one quarter of the world's coastlines. Forests of them occur all over the planet, from tropical to polar regions. Over the past century, kelp forests have become recognized as dynamic ecosystems that create unique habitats for many marine creatures. Some of the animals that benefit from kelp forests include shrimp and marine snails to whales, sea lions and shorebirds. And the forests have been beneficial to humans for several millennia. Some researchers think the Americas were first colonized during the Ice Age when fishing communities followed Pacific kelp forests. That may have created a type of kelp highway that extended for thousands of miles. In the 21st century, kelp forests were valued by scuba divers and kayakers for their recreational value. Number 12. Thonis Heraklion The origins of this city stretch back to the 12th century BC. It was once located on Egypt's northern coast and was recognized as one of the Mediterranean's most essential port cities. Ironically, it ended up at the bottom of the very sea it served. The remains of this once great city lie about one and a half miles or 2.5 kilometers off the coast of Alexandria, under 30 feet, 10 meters of water. After first being identified in the 1930s, it wasn't until 1999 that archaeologists explored the ruins. In addition to more than 60 ancient shipwrecks, excavations have recovered coins, historic temples, and enormous granite columns. Historians think a combination of forces, including earthquakes, tsunamis, and severe flooding, caused the city to sink into the sea at the end of the second century BC. Number 11, Floating Circles. Some weird circular formations sparked a lot of debate when they were initially reported in 2008 off the Baltic coast of Denmark. Speculation ranged from the circles being anything from UFO landing sites to bomb craters from the Second World War. Then the phenomenon seemed to disappear before again being reported in 2011. This time it was so prevalent that the media picked up on the circles, which could be 50 feet in diameter, that's 15 meters. Marine biologists concluded that the effect was the result of an aquatic plant called eelgrass. The unusual shapes are created by the plant's growth pattern. From a central point, they grow and spread outward in a ring-like formation until only the circle's rim is visible. Number 10. Loki's Castle Named after the god of mischief in Norse mythology, this field of thermal vents was discovered in 2008. Located between Greenland and Norway, in addition to the five vents, researchers also found some 20 different animal species that live off the heat released by the vents. Temperatures can exceed 570 degrees Fahrenheit or 300 degrees Celsius. Because huge metal deposits have also been found, the area could be opened up to corporate exploration to extract them. 
Number 9. Rocket Engines Did you know that Amazon founder and CEO Jeff Bezos once led efforts to locate the engines of the spacecraft Apollo 11? That's the mission that sent Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin to the moon. During that historic 1969 endeavour, F-1 rocket engines from the Apollo 11 craft detached and plummeted into the waters off the Florida coast. More than 40 years later, they were discovered by remotely operated vehicles ROVs, at a depth of some 14,000 feet or 4,300 meters beneath the surface. The artifacts were later donated to the Museum of Flight in Seattle, where they were placed on a permanent exhibit. Number 8. The Pacific Trash Vortex This phenomenon is swirling in the northern Pacific Ocean, so it's also known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and it's pretty much what the name implies. Initially described by researchers in 1988, it lies roughly midway between Japan and the west coast of the US. How did it form? A system of circulating ocean currents called gyres, or vortexes, is located in this region of the Pacific. Its rotational pattern pulls in huge amounts of garbage from all across the ocean like a magnet. Wind-driven currents push the floating debris into the Gaia's center, where it stays trapped. Garbage can range in size from tiny bits of plastic to massive clots of trash. Most of the refuse comes from waste material that has been illegally dumped into the ocean. At this point, it's thought to be at least twice the size of the continental United States. The trash vortex impacts animals and humans alike. Marine mammals and sea turtles often eat plastic waste and suffer toxic effects. When fish eat such material, it can be passed on to humans. As if all that isn't grim enough, scientists say there's a similar garbage patch located in the North Atlantic Ocean. Number 7. The Kraken These well-known marine monsters are said to live off the coasts of Greenland and Norway. But while they're usually thought to resemble giant squids, some accounts describe them as not having tentacles at all. Rather, they have a greater resemblance to whales or crabs. Experts trace the creature's origins to a 13th century Old Icelandic saga where a beast known as the sea mist was mentioned. It was described as the greatest monster in the sea, able to swallow ships and whales alike. Even so, there's a general consensus that sightings of the kraken have probably been inspired by giant squid. Those cephalopods allegedly have the potential to reach lengths greater than 60 feet, 18 meters. Number 6. Undersea Unicorns Pyrosomes are so rarely sighted that they're often called the unicorns of the sea. These elusive animals can grow up to 30 meters, 98 feet long, or about the size of a couple of double-decker buses end to end. Despite that massive size, they're known to be slow-moving filter feeders. Pyrosomes are actually translucent, cylindrical-shaped colonies composed of thousands of smaller individuals known as zooids. Only a few millimeters in size, zooids are each connected by tissue. They move as one within the pyrosome's tube-like housing and pull water through its tubes to feed on plankton before the filtered water is pushed back out. Experts say that the movements of pyrosomes are largely determined by ocean waves and currents. Number 5. The Bimini Road In 1968, three divers discovered an unusual formation in the waters off the coast of North Bimini Island in the Bahamas. Formation of underwater rocks and stones appeared like the remains of an ancient road. Sprawling about one half mile long, less than one kilometer, it appears like a man-made structure. Researchers aren't sure if that's the case, or if the so-called Bimini Road is a naturally occurring geological formation. But there are plenty of people who believe that the road was not only crafted by humans, but it might represent the remains of Atlantis. What do you think? Number 4. Mauna Kea At some 29,029 feet, 8,848 meters, Mount Everest is the world's tallest mountain. That's actually correct if you're measuring a mountain from sea level to summit. But if you're measuring from base to summit, the winner is actually Mauna Kea in Hawaii. It's an inactive volcano whose base is located deep in the Pacific Ocean, so most of it is underwater. But if you add the mountain's hidden height to its summit, Mauna Kea has a total height of some 33,500 feet, or 10,210 meters. 
that's almost a mile taller than Mount Everest. Number 3. Blobfish This deep sea animal appears to look like a grumpy old man, along with what appears to be a slimy, gelatinous skin. But that squishy exterior actually helps it to survive. Because the blobfish lives at depths of nearly 4,000 feet, 1,220 meters, the gooey flesh allows the animal to easily float above the seafloor while expending the least amount of energy for swimming. Rightly or wrongly, the blobfish was once voted the world's ugliest animal. What do you think? Number 2. The Lake Michigan Stonehenge FYI, this one is found in a lake, not an ocean. But it's still an underwater oddity and it earns a spot on our list. Lake Michigan is the second largest of North America's Great Lakes. Any body of water that large is bound to contain a few mysteries, and here's a good example. In 2007, an underwater archaeologist found a series of stones about 40 feet, 12 meters underwater that were arranged in a circular formation. One stone that was positioned outside the circle bore carvings that resemble a mastodon. Since those animals went extinct about 10,000 years ago, the alignment of the stones drew comparisons to Stonehenge, while the mastodon image suggested they may have been crafted more than 10 millennia ago. It's still not known who arranged the stones or carved the mastodon, or what function the site may have served. Tell us your theories in the comments. Number 1. Big Fin Squids These creatures are seen only rarely. A specimen was first caught in 1907 in the North Atlantic Ocean. Since then, five species have been identified, but only from larval and juvenile specimens. But in the late 1980s, creatures identified as long-armed squids were filmed off the northern coast of Brazil at depths exceeding 15,500 feet, or 4,700 meters. Subsequent videos have detailed specimens that look distinct from other cephalopods, with an estimated length of at least 8 meters, 26 feet. Because close-ups of the creature's heads and bodies appear similar to the juvenile specimens of big fin squids, they might belong to the same species. But so far, no specimens or samples of the larger animals have been collected. To date, their exact identity remains a mystery. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.